If you collect Digimon or play Digimon, you should be attending the online tournaments. And this is why. The participation packs. By the way, before I start, just wanted to show off my new tea. Look at that little teapot. How cute is that? Like little see-through so you can see like the tea brewing. And for Christmas, through no surprise, I got a lot of tea. And so for my videos, I'm going to go through this, like I think it's like 12 packs, 12 packs of all these different teas from the English tea shop. This one is perfect peppermint. Mm. A bit hot, drunk that too quick. So this came in the post a couple of weeks before the end of the year, last year. And I was only gonna open this like for my Instagram, I wasn't really going to do a whole YouTube video on it, but thought this would be a good chance to kind of like hammer down the point that if you don't already, because I'm sure there are a lot of you who do, but if you don't already look into the web online tournaments that Bandai hosts, or even have a look at what your local game store is doing for tournaments, you should start doing that because of the participation prizes. And I'm not talking about, you know, really learning the meta and trying to come up with like really good decks. If you want to and want to win and get the top prizes, I mean you should go for that because the top prizes for some of these tournaments are just insane. But if you don't feel confident in that and you don't think that you can like win the tournament, then it's like, oh, then why should I apply and go for it? Because all of the good cards are like the winning cards. No, there are plenty of stuff to get even if you just participate. And you don't have to participate for the whole thing either. These prizes that you get, you only have to go in for two or three rounds, which is which is really good because it doesn't gape keep those who can't spend a whole day playing a Digimon tournament. That's including myself. I don't really have a lot of time to be spending the eight whole nine hours that it normally takes for some of these tournaments to go all the way to the end. I normally stay about four or five rounds and then that's enough for me. I go, you know, I'm a very mid player. I lose. I lose quite a lot of my matches when I play online. <laughs> So these participation packs make it worth it. This one is from the recent, as you can see, the Grand Prix. And this is all Vmon stuff. This, by the way, you didn't have to win a single game and you still get this stuff. Okay, come out. Right, let's get this out. Ah, here we go. Okay, I think everything's wrapped up in this playmat. Is there anything in there? No. All right, how am I gonna show off? Oh, okay. Crinkly. Oh, my tea. Let's move my tea out the way so it doesn't spill. Mm. Right, right. Didn't have to win a single game, but for participating in this tournament, I get all of this. This is really nice. <laughs> this is really nice stuff for a collector. This is just so exciting. Okay, okay, here we go. Sellotape down. It's okay. It's only sellotaped on plastic and they've done a good job at keeping it safe though i do hate sellotape oh, God. all force vdramon sleeves which are gold i do love vmon i'm a fan of the imperial dramon deck i have a deck of that that is very nice yeah have a look at that that shines lovely really nice sleeves and exclusive you know exclusive to this tournament and of course the participation cards with the stamp yeah man. Right, I think it's a set. Oh, there's more than just four. I think it's a play set or are they all individual? It's been a while since I looked up what actually you get. Yes, you do. Okay, it's a play set of the Vmon where this is really good for the Imperial Dramon deck where if it becomes unsuspended during your main phase, you draw a card, which is excellent because that's what Imperial does. Uh, okay, I think and a play set of Ray of Victory. Okay, very nice. And it has the stamp, exclusive artwork with the stamp. And of course the playmat, the All Force Vigimon playmat. It's so cool. Get that for just participating. So the big reason I kind of wanted to bring this up and talk about tournaments, if you didn't know about the advantages of taking taking your time to kind of have a think and trying these online tournaments, you've probably have missed the signups for the 2021 championships where the participation prizes are really, really good. You get a play map, you get exclusive cards, you get quite a few actually. It's a really good prize for just entering. You, again, don't have to win a thing. And of course the winning cards, if you get high, are really good as well. If you really want to try and learn the meta and get good at the game, this is a tournament that you'd really, really want to do that for. You know, there's things like this. I can't remember which tournament I got this in, but you know, ex exclusive sleeves, memory gauges as well. You know, championships, memory gauges with Agumon and Gabumon, really, really pretty. And of course these cards as well. This one, again, 
participation prize. Love, absolutely lovely. Look at that. Look at the texture on that card. These cards came out and had texture before the main sets had texture. I definitely think this came out before BT6. And this isn't a participation prize. I believe you had to get top 64 to be able to get this one. But again, a beautiful Agumon card. You know, these are cards are definitely worth going for. They look so good. Of course, I understand tournaments and online tournaments aren't for everyone. I do like that they are online because it's more accessible. It's less, it's less gatekeepy to those who can't spend money traveling. And also when you're traveling, it's not just that day you have to take out. You have to take out travel time. So for example, if there was a European Championships and it was in Germany, I would have to book off time off work to travel there, you know, spend the whole day there and then travel back. And there's expenses with that too. So this online tournaments are really good to, are really good so that if it falls on a Saturday, where most of them do, they fall on the weekend. Because I work the week, I have my Saturdays free. So I've just got to make sure I have my Saturday free for the tournament. And then you just need a webcam. Top down like this, or some people do it like slanted. I know some people, again, don't like the online stuff because of cheaters and there have been cheaters and there have been cheaters who have won tournaments but Bando are pretty good at you know at catching them and kicking them out. Uh, the only thing about the tournaments which is uh, uh, <laughs> a little bit annoying I've mentioned it a little bit earlier is the time it takes because a game I think they allocate like 55 minutes or something like that so that's an hour between each round at least if it goes to eight then that's at least eight hours. That's not including like the in-between time in rounds where the judges have to tally up the scores. So they can go on for a while, but if you're going for cards like this and you don't just get these and a lot of the other tournaments, you get event packs. Event packs that are exclusive to that tournament. That really uncomfortable angle. Agumon is one of my favorite <laughs> alternate arts that have come from a tournament, which I do have. I did attend that one. So I do have that card. So in summary, you should definitely look into getting a deck together, even if it's just a starter deck. Sign up, get your starter deck together, get yourself some incredible prizes, and maybe you'll actually really enjoy playing the game and wanting to actually build a proper deck, you know, with a meta deck. You know, you might find out that you're actually really, really good and end up winning or coming, you know, you could come top 64, top 32, or win. You could win the whole bloody thing. And then you're talking about the big money cards, the cards that <laughs> I really wish I had in my collection because some of them are just so beautiful. Mm. Play tournaments, guys. Play in the tournament.